Welcome back to Growing with Lona. Usually, I'm giving you tips on how to grow your own groceries. Today, I'm going to help you create with flowers that you didn't have to grow, but you can purchase and for less than $5, have your own boutonniere. You'll need some type of focal point flower. I chose long stem roses and I chose the True Touch from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby puts these on sale 40% off every other week. Check the ads and make sure that you go visit them when they're on sale. You'll need some Dipsophila, coming in with this baby's breath, and you'll need some foliage. You'll also need scissors, wire cutters, and floral tape. Get some 22 gauge wire just in case you need it. It's just a good idea to have it. And just in case I need a hot glue gun, I have my low temp hot glue gun ready. I'm going to cut off the stem at approximately three inches. I'll be removing more, but I want to leave three inches from the flower head so that I have enough to work with as um, maneuvering and wrapping the stems. Save these. In fact, this large one is one that you can use for the foliage for another boutonniere. Step two, cut sections of gypsophila. I'm going to be using the rule of three. I'm going to be using three sections of gypsophila in this boutonniere. The rule of three is you have three different flowers, or you have three different colors, you have three different heights, but this rule of three brings more interest, more creativity, and will draw the eye to your boutonniere. Step three, prepare some of the foliage. Step four, cut a couple of pieces of floral tape ready to go. Let's see if we want to add another side. That looks nice. I want this to be approximately an inch and a half to two inches. I also created a boutonniere for the groom. These are for the ushers. And these are for the dads and the dads. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure and subscribe to Growing with Glenna. You just never know what we're going to be working on next. Thanks for watching.